Alright, next James Bond movie to talk about. For many, it's one of the quintessential ones. If I can get it out, it's Goldfinger. <laughs> there we go, Goldfinger. So this is the third Bond movie, I believe, to come out. It came out in 1964, and once again, it stars Sean Connery's Bond. And this time, he's going after a guy named Goldfinger. Goldfinger is this really cool guy. He loves gold, and then he kills this woman by covering her in gold, and then he has this plan to make his gold very valuable and stuff. And, you know, Bond's going after him, and it's pretty cool. This movie started it all, basically, for a lot of Bond fans. Like, the first two movies were... They started Bond, but this was the one where really started. And I can understand that, because this is where a lot of stuff like the crazy gadgets came in. Like with the car, with like the oil slick and the smoke screen and all that stuff. And then like, so that's where that parody of all the kids shows I used to watch came from. This is Goldfinger movie, ah, I get it. And you know, stuff like the, some lines like for example, you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die of a martini, shaken but not stirred. Like lines like those. You know, they were really cool, and this is where they came from. And I really like that, you know. I finally see some of this stuff where they came from. Like, this in Mission Impossible kind of showed me, like, oh, that's where these these uh, spy movie trope stuff came from. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. And, you know, this time the action works really well. Like, the action this time, I buy it. I actually think it's pretty good action for what it is. And this time it actually, you know, it's a little more believable than Dr. No. I haven't seen from Russia with Love, but, you know. Pretty cool looking for, for what it is. Again, for what it is. 60s, not quite perfect. Some Marys, like the guns, not quite, don't quite work. Like there's one time where Goldfinger like shoots Bond with a tranquilizer and the sound effect is literally just this. Or no, it's more like, it's like, like, like that. It's like an old knock. I don't understand how hard it is to just do like a gun sound effect. But whatever, let's, we'll see how the further one goes, because I've only watched the first two so far. Regardless, this movie was a lot of fun. Also, again, you know, we had some of the ridiculous villains, like, you know, Goldfinger's sidekick henchman guy, Odd Job, with the hat. It's also some kind of a flying guillotine, or, no, not a flying guy, like, a, a knife hat. He, he throws it at something, and, then, and it just gets cut. It was pretty cool, you know. It's really over-the-top and ridiculous. Like, this realize some of the over-the-top ridiculous aspects of James Bond, and it really worked in that area, like, you know, some of the female characters, they're played up for laughs and stuff, like, you know, how James Bond is like this playboy, who pretty much like, hey, any woman, you're, you're cool, why don't we, uh, you know what I mean, <laughs> like that. This movie plays it up, and it's pretty cool. I'm not a fan of the objectification, though, but whatever, it's early, I'm sure it gets better. And again, it's a little dated in a few aspects, but I feel not as much as Dr. No. This one holds up a lot more than Dr. No. And I had a pretty good time with Goldfinger. It was pretty entertaining. I liked, you know, the action. I liked the plot. It was pretty cool seeing James Bond be James Bond once again. Good villain and all that stuff. And yeah, a nice movie, Goldfinger. I don't have that much to say about it other than this is pretty much one of the quintessential Gold James Bond movies. If I could get it out of the collection. It would be nice, but uh, yeah, I guess I can't really think of too much that wasn't that great about it at all, other than, you know, some of the dated aspects of it, but whatever. It was a fun movie, and yeah, I liked it. I'm gonna give Goldfinger an 88%. Still a little dated in a few aspects, not everything's perfect, but it was a lot of fun, definitely each better than Dr. No. So, yes, thank you very much for watching, and uh, have a good day, have a good night. Have a good afternoon, have a good other time of day that I can't think of. Whatever. Adios, home slices.